Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do what's called intuitive F2L. Now, intuitive means we're going to be able to do it without technically algorithms. It's more of a method than an algorithm. Um, now, there are a bunch of um, videos debating what, whether intuitive or algorithms is uh, better. But I just want to say that if you want to learn F2L, you should probably learn intuitive then add some algorithms in as you go. For now, I'm just going to teach you guys how to do intuitive F2L, and I'm going to give you a little bit more info after this intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what F2L really is, is when after you're done the cross, sorry, this is a cross, anyways, you make pairs, such as the one I just made, which is this. And then you insert the pairs, like so. Now this is gonna be a relatively long video, and um, maybe you guys don't wanna watch such a long video. So the beginning is gonna be the basic stuff, and then if you wanna put in more time to get more advanced stuff, then you can watch the further back in the video. Okay, so let's just start off with some basic stuff. First, of course, you gotta make the cross. If you want a tutorial on how to do your cross faster, um, there's a video on my channel, What's the XC, this channel, and uh, you can look at that. So let's just start with the basic principles, and that's how to make an actual pair. So this is one of the easier cases, and there's a corner piece right here that's supposed to match up with the edge piece right here, right? So what you want to do is match them up. And then it's a pretty easy insertion for this one. That's technically an algorithm, but it's just so simple, it's also sort of intuitive. Now let's find another one. There's a corner right here, and the edge is right here. So what you want to do is look at this. There's a green here at the top, so if I slid it up, then the green would match up here. So with this piece, I want to put the green here how I just did it just now. If you didn't see that, go back in the video. And um, then you can match it up. Find the place to insert, and insert it. There's also an easy pair right here. Just insert it. That's all F2O really is. Now let's say you have this. Now, I don't really know how to do this intuitively because I actually do this with an algorithm. Um, this is more advanced, but you guys should probably know this, so it's sort of basic. And that what I do is, I send this one up, put it in, matching up there. Then I go like that. Got it? It's pretty simple, it's just part of a sexy move. And if you don't know what sexy move is, there's also a video on my channel, it's actually pretty hard to find. So just type into your search bar, what's the XC sexy move? And then hopefully you'll find it. Um, now let's move on to slightly more advanced stuff. So that's just the gist of F2L. Now let's go more in depth. So um, let's just get our cross here. And we have the cross. So a more in depth thing it, that is you really need to know is the insertion. Um, insertion. So when you insert it, right? So let's say you have an easy pair right here. Was that out of frame? I'm sorry if it was out of frame. But let's say you have an easy um, pair right here. And what you would normally do is go like that, go like that, and insert it, right? But there's an even faster way that uses less moves. It's, you go down like this, up, and that, right? That's pretty simple. You can do it with both sides, actually. So with this side, let's say you go like this, go like this, go like this. Go like that, right? Pretty simple. Um, yeah. So that's some of the basic insertion that um, to increase your time. So that could just increase your time inserting that way rather than the usual way. Use the usual way too. Use both. Just whichever's easier. With F2L, intuitively, um, to do it intuitively, you really need to play around with your cube and. Um, when learning this stuff, don't just look at the video and then copy what the video did. Actually think about what's in the video. 
Um, think about how they're matching up the pairs, for example, like I just did that. Think about how they're inserting it. Think about how you can change it to fit other scenarios. So look at your own cube too while watching this video. I'm thirsty right now, guys, so I'm just going to drink some pop. Okay. Okay, now let's move on. So, there are other ways to find pairs too. One of them is this way. So in this case, when you go up, the red matches up. But that's not really a pair because you can't insert it. So what you want to do is you want to split them up doing that. Send that one away and put it in here. Now that it's in here, you can put this one over here and match it up making a pair. Then you just insert. Now let's say you have this one. It's not this, now let's you have, okay. So in this case, the edge piece is over here rather than over here or over here. So what you want to do in this case is put the white in, but put it in, in this way so that the white isn't facing down. The orange is facing up. That way you can match up the orange and put it in. It's all about matching up the colors and um, think about things in different ways. So let's do this again. Just make uh, my cross here. Right? Now let's look at this. This is a relatively easy one. The orange right here, put it at the top. Yep. Okay, so now here's a different one. If I put this here, it's going to be like that, which is more difficult because it's the algorithm like I showed you earlier in the video. So what you want to do instead is put this edge piece to the back. Now when you go up, it's an easy case. See, you just go back, match it up that way, and it goes in. It's all about finding easy cases. Now this one's the same thing, but instead of this being down here, it's up here. So what you want to do is put it down there by going like that. Now it's down there, put this one in the back, up, U2, U2, and then just put it in. Whenever I say U2 or F or what R or whatever, there those are notations. Um, if you want to learn notations, there's going to be a notation tutorial coming up. Uh, but hopefully you already know notations by now if you're learning F2L. So um, now you have this case. It's actually going to be a really easy case, but what you've got to do first is get it out to the top. Now that it's in the top, you can go like that to put the red here to match with the red at the top. Match it up, insert it, you're done. So let's just get the, the cross again. And now let's look at what pairs there are. So when doing F2L, it's about look ahead. Now look ahead is something that you gotta use to, throughout the entire solve but it's most important in F2L. For example, you just did the cross, you see an easy pair. You put in the easy pair, but while you're putting in the easy pair, you see another pair. Then you do this pair, put that pair in. Oh, you see another pair, the pair right here. You go up, do this pair, and then while you do that, you see your last pair. The green's at the back, the corner piece is right here. Put in the pair. Oh, you see your OLO case. You do two look, you see your two look LLO, you see your um, PLO, and then you're done your solve. So that's why look ahead is so important because when you learn how to do a Rubik's Cube, you get used to the moves. You don't even need to look at once you get used to the moves. So let's just do an example solve right here. So I already know what I'm going to do for my cross. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to go like that, and then I'm going to go like that, and then whoa! Right here, I see an F2O case. I do the F2O case. I don't even need to think about it because it's an easy F2O case. Then I do my next F2O case. While I'm finishing up that, I see my next F2O case. I do that F2O case. Insert it. I see another F2O case. That's what look ahead is really all about. And then I do OLO and so on and so on, whatever. So that's just the gist of look ahead. Um, I'm not sure if there's um, in-depth tutorials, but that's the gist of look ahead. Um, just doing things without looking 
and then moving on to planning what you have to do next. Okay, now let's look at another F2L case I kept getting throughout that, throughout we were doing that. Okay, so it's this case. The red's here, green's here, white's here, and then that. So what I find to do to be the easiest is just doing sexy move. Right? And then you have the pair and insert. And then let's say you have this. Do that one. I already taught you that. And yeah. That's really what it's all about. So um I'm just gonna do some real quick example solves for you right now so that you can see FQL with some kit. I'm going to have some commentary for you guys. Okay. Now, I'm doing the cross. I see my F2O place case. Oh, it's already in. I need to find my next F2O case and quickly. I found it. I do sexy move to insert it. While I'm inserting it, I'm looking for my next one. Found it. Put it in. I see my next one. Put it in. I see my OLO case. And then, yeah. I got a PLL skip, so that could have been my PB, but whatever. And that's really about it. So, yeah, that's hopefully you learned how to do F2L. If you need any explanation, just ask in the comment section. Missed anything? Go back in the video. So, yeah. So, that's it for the video, guys. Um, remember to check out all the videos that are on the screen right now. Also, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when um, videos come out. And share, 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 share. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake